Today I'm going to be walking through some of the commands from Advent of Code by Voice. This is using the embedded video player. The first command is snip else after near. So zooming in here, you can see um, near refers to console, right? And snip else is my else snippet. And after, we'll put it after the default scope type for that snippet. It's not gonna be dumb and just try and put an else statement right after that token. It knows that else wants to go after an if statement. I'll drop a link to where I've defined that else snippet. We'll probably include that snippet in cursorless um, at some point. Uh, for now, it's just a custom snippet that I have. Okay, this is a long one. Uh, so you can see here, I'm chaining. And so this is how you start to get really real speed gains when you're voice coding. Let's first see what it's trying to do, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward to the end state so you can see what it's gonna look like after this command runs. So this is what I'm trying to do, right? I'm basically trying to say console.log got a number and I'm putting an interpolation variable there, okay? And so the easiest way to do that, um, like a lot of times in cursorless, is to do a bring, start with something else, and then just sort of tweak it on the fly. And so that's what I'm doing in this command. So you can see here, um, bring line cap, I'm taking that line, which I'm going to use as my template. And then I wanted to change this last thing. Really, I want to change these last two, right? Got a dir, I want to say got number, something, right? So what I'm going to do is I want to clear this, I want to change this last identifier on the line. The default way to say that would be change last identifier. I'm using some remaps, so for me, that's clear last alpha. Alpha is something you might want to steal because it's a lot shorter than identifier. Clear, change, that's mostly just legacy that I'm using clear. I, I'd probably recommend just sticking with change. Notice I, I can't use a hat there, right? I can't say like change drum because the new line won't have any hats yet. In the future, we might do something called hat migration where hats will migrate to the target of a bring. That doesn't exist yet today. Then I do scratcher. Scratcher is a custom command which just clears one word to the left, right? So notice when I click on any of those links, it takes me into my dot file. It takes you into my dot file. So it's an easy way to steal commands from me. Then word number, right? So now basically on the new line, we've deleted these two tokens and we're here. And we say, now we say the word number. So it's gonna be got number. Because remember, what we're trying to do here is we wanted got number and then the interpolation variable, right? So we've basically said word number and then void, right? That's gonna put a space after number. And then make quote var is basically a way for me to insert one of these and leave my cursor in the middle. Now I'm here and I want to bring this variable here because that's where we're gonna print, right? Because if, if, you, if you recall what's happening here, we're doing a switch statement on these different lines. And if it started with a dollar, that was a command. If it started with dir, that was declaring a directory. And otherwise, it's starting with a number, which is giving the size of a file. And so what we're going to do is print out, um, the, uh, print out the type here. And because type here actually ends up being that number, right? We just did a split. So, um, so let's do that. Okay, great. And then here, disk, low dog north, um, disk is my version of save, low dog north is my version of up. I find go up, go down um, a bit too slow. They don't recognize super well. I stole north and south from another voice coder and I love them. Um, so you can see in my, my files where I define those. Let's jump to this one here. I think this is a nice one. This is class wrap func red risk. So what that's doing is it's taking this function, right? That's the target, func red risk and it's wrapping it in a class. Um, great, and it's a snippet, so it leaves your cursor right in the spot where you're gonna define the class. Hammer is a formatter. Some people use Pascal instead for the name of that formatter. I got Hammer from someone and I don't know, it's stuck. Um, so, great. Deleting this, because now we're in a class, we don't need to um, use the function keyword. Uh, notice I remapped chuck to ditch. Um, that's because for me, chuck and take were uh, getting conflicts. If you don't have that issue, leave it as chuck. I added as chuck for like a year and eventually just got tired of the misrecognitions. Pour is a custom command. Some people think that pour should work with zero args by default, it doesn't. This is a custom command that I did um, for my own repo. This is another long one. So let's see what it's doing. Um, we're trying to create a member of this class with type string or undefined. 
Great. So in this case, the way we do that is we say camel current directory is type string pipe type undefined, right? So camel current directory types out current directory in camel case. Um, is type string, um, this I believe is from uh, vanilla Knauss J and it basically inserts in TypeScript, it'll do a colon space and then one of, a, so code type is a set of default um, types. Um, so, um, so you can say is type string, is type num, is type whatever, right? And so is type string will do colon space string and then pipe is just the pipe and then type undefined. This is the same set of things. Is type will put a colon, whereas type without an is will just put the type itself. These probably not that interesting. You can just sort of look what they do by clicking on the links. Um, scratch is my version of delete. Works pretty well for me. Float this just inserts an empty line underneath because um, I just wanted to clean that up a little bit. Um, Here's another little bit longer one. Um, so let's maybe jump ahead to see uh, what exactly it is that I want this to do. You can ignore the um, the gray. That's some intelligent autocomplete I have trying to be intelligent. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to instantiate this new class that we just created and I want to do it right above here. For that, we basically say drink red each, right? So that determines, so drink, we're going to put something above that line. Um, that's what the drink command does and red each is this. Make new is, um, so I use make where in Knauss J, I, I believe the default is op sometimes and state sometimes. My brain could not keep those apart and op didn't recognize well for me. So they're all just make for me. Um, so make new just puts new in a space and then bring harp is bringing this and then round is um, creating empty prints. Yes is my way of accepting a completion. So I guess I liked what the AI was suggesting here. And so yes, we'll just um, accept it. You can see here, I accepted the completion, but then I tweaked it because it was mostly right, right? So that's what this ditch near is doing. That's deleting this token because that didn't belong there. And then you can see ditch line risk, that's deleting this line, right? So basically where we're going to end up um, is there, right? With a clean um, instantiation of the class and nothing underneath it. And then you can see I, I run it all in one command there. The next couple commands, um, I'll show you the goal, right? The goal here um, is we want to replace this with a call to a function we're going to create which handles a command, right? So let's see that. We are gonna be calling this.handle command and we want TypeScript to automatically generate a function definition for us. We're gonna clear this line. This would be change line if you're on uh, default spoken forms. So change line blue cap is gonna clear that out. Leave your cursor there, right? Whereas as opposed to Chuck, which would just delete the line and not move your cursor. Make self is putting in whatever the current language's version of this or self is, right? So Another nice Talon thing is that you don't have to remember, oh, I'm in Python, I'm in JavaScript, I need this versus self. It just knows. Um, so, and then I'm gonna put a point, right? So um, I believe I can actually shorten this to just self point, um, but I just learned that one. So yeah, keep learning new things. Camel case, handle command and round, right? So you can see what that's gonna do. Camel case this, put an empty parens. And then I know that um, TypeScript has a way to automatically create a function for you, which is really nice. So I just say, so there's a cursorless command. I say quick fix made, and that's going to pop up the list. And then clap is going to accept that declare method handle command. Super useful. It just declares it for me. This is where TypeScript and VS code really shine. Here's a nice command where I basically apply the cursorless rename action on this argument here, right? And I'm just going to rename it to args. That's probably a good place to stop. If you have any questions, uh, drop a line in the comments below or find me on Slack. Always happy to answer. And I hope this was helpful. Happy coding. Record stop.